what's going on everyone today we are doing a tier list we are doing the mlb teams tier list we're going to rank teams based off of how i like them not how good they actually are but we're going to rank them from my favorite teams to my least favorite teams um a lot of the reasoning again is going to be for like about 10 years ago who i liked you know it could be players it could be the colors of their uniforms whatever their logos if i think they're cool everything's going to factor into this so uh, we got the first team here. We got the Colorado Rockies. Honestly, growing up um, in video games, I like playing with Todd Helton. Um, like playing with him a lot. Um, also, Nolan Arenado, I thought was one of the most has been one of the most underrated players. I get that he plays in Colorado, so it's like um, they play higher up than like everybody else, and so it's easier to hit home runs. Um, I still think he's over, or I, I, I don't know. He was just fun to watch. Everybody wants to give a reasoning why they hate people. Uh, but I think uh, Nolan Arenado was really fun. Thought he was underrated. Um, and again, Todd Helton. Um, but nothing insane, so I'm just going to put him in a decent team. Uh, San Diego. Um, San Diego. Um, I mean, Fernando Tatis is super exciting to watch. Um, the city of San Diego, love. Uh, been there once. It's super nice. Um, but outside of that, outside of that, it's, I probably like Colorado more than the Padres. Also, the Tigers played them in the 84 World Series, but we beat them. So that's actually not a negative because we beat them. Um, if they would have beat us, then that'd be a negative. Um, we got the Atlanta Braves. Honestly, they're uh, red jerseys absolutely fucking love love ronald acuna loves chipper jones they're gonna be a decent team right now they're gonna be a high decent team right now they might go into the great team category uh seattle i like their colors i like ken griffey jr i don't know i think i when i was paying attention i'm pretty sure he was on like cincinnati though i don't think i I don't think, um, at least I don't remember. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think I watched too much of him in Seattle. I think that was maybe a little bit before my time. Yeah, okay. So he was out in 1999. So I remember him from Cincinnati. Uh, that's that he was just like I was born in '98. So I just don't have any memories of him in Seattle. Um, so I can't really say that about them. But the fact that Ken Griffey Jr. was on Seattle um, definitely bumps him. Ichiro, honestly was one of those guys that i hated back in the day because he was so fucking good like that's how that's how i that's how i think of who how great players were is when i was growing up did i hate them and if i absolutely hated them i they were amazing and each row was one of those guys absolutely loved him one of my favorite players gotta put him that make great team they also had a uh, felix hernandez who was super entertaining uh so i gotta keep him there the marlins um, I remember, um, when, uh, they, they, if they were the Florida Marlins still, I think I'd put them in great team because Miguel Cabrera came from there, but because they're the Miami Marlins, I love their colors too. So it's like really hard, but when they switched from Florida to Miami, so many people that I knew, and, and this was back in grade school, so, like, I think this was when I was in, like, 7th or 8th grade, um, people just bandwagoned on them for, like, a year or two, and I was just like, what the fuck? Um, they probably would be great team if they were Florida Marlins, but because of that, I think they're gonna be a mid to low decent team. They might go to bad team just because they also, you know, were really trash for a long time. Um, we got the Dodgers. So many, so many people have bandwagoned on them. Absolutely love them. I love Matt Kemp. I love Yasiel Puig. But so many people bandwagon on the LA teams. They're going to be a low bad team. They might be, go to terrible team because of how much I hate them now. Growing up, loved them. Now, fucking hate them. Um, same reasoning. I'm going to put the Cubs in right now. Love the Cubs. Alfonso Soriano is honestly one of my favorite players, and my memories of him were from the Cubs. Um, he was, he, I just loved him. I loved playing with him in MLB, um, you know, like 15 years ago. 
um but now so many people bandwagoned on him during their like world series run and like during that you know what was that like four years ago now um about you know four years ago so many people five years ago even people bandwagoned on him and i'm just nah uh baltimore i've never been a fan of baltimore uh never been a fan of baltimore um i do like their stadium i like i like stadiums that have like a big wall um and baltimore's got that big wall in right field so i like that um i don't really like their left field though i don't know it's just me they they might go in the i think they're gonna go in the bad team if i'm being honest do i Ugh, i don't know i think they're going bad team i don't know i also manny machado fucking hate that guy chris davis almost screwed up miguel cabrera's triple crown so yeah i actually gotta put him in bad team the boston red sox bro i love their i love their field i love their field man i love their center field that little like angular thing right in dead center that just like and i don't know growing up they were always like one of my favorite teams i don't know why they just were um i know i know is like a city like there's there's like all sports they're just have been great in it seems like and for that reason i don't want to put them so high but when i think about it, like i love manny ramirez i love dave ortiz and i love dustin pedroia i like the history of baseball i cannot put them lower than great team it sucks uh tampa bay rays um I don't know. There hasn't really been any. I think they're just going to go mid. I really don't. I don't think I have an opinion on them. I don't. It's weird. Um, I really have no opinions. The only guy that I can think of growing up that I, I remember from them, I think, is was Carl Crawford, who I think also played for Boston. But I think he started on Tampa Bay. And then, yeah, went to Boston. Tampa Bay Devil Rays, okay, and then that's when they switched to Tampa Bay Rays. Um, but yeah, I, I like I liked watching him. He was like really fast. I loved watching really fast players, who, which is also why I liked Ichiro. Um, but like this is just totally insane. That's insane when he was on Tampa Bay. Then went to Boston. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think they're just gonna be mid. Uh, Minnesota. Um, I fucking hate Joe Mauer, but I love Justin Morneau. I really liked their old um, field. Um, it was I, I think they had a dome. I think um, pl playing MLB the show, like well, it wasn't MLB the show back then, but playing MLB the show. I'm just gonna say that. Um, loved playing at their field, but in real life, I hated their team, so I have to put decent. If I if I if it wasn't for the game, they would definitely be a bad team. Uh, Phillies, you know what? Roy Holiday, fantastic pitcher. Ryan Howard struck out way too much, but his power was ridiculous. Jimmy Rollins loved him. Um, I think they had Cliff Lee for a little bit. Um, they used to be like my second or third favorite team. Not not really anymore, um, but they used to. I think I'm gonna put them high decent team. I think I'm gonna put them like. Atlanta and Phillies are right next to each other. They could like be at the low end of great teams, but they're probably gonna just be decent teams. Oakland Athletics. I fucking hate their colors. But in Little League, I was almost I like growing up in Little League, I was like always the A's. It's crazy. I have like fucking like I was on there I was on the A's I think at least four times. At least four times. In like in first grade when you just started in little league i don't know if they purposely kept me on the same team or what but like i was on the a's for my first three years and then i was on it again like two or three years later um hate the colors um i like nick swisher back when they, he was on the a's i think i'm gonna put them a great team uh solely because i was always the a's in little league if it wasn't for that they would be probably a bad team but gotta put them great team because i was on their team um cincinnati reds again uh the memories of ken griffey jr adam don 
Um, Chapman. Um, I think I'm going to put them in a high decent tier. High decent tier for sure. I think they're an under 18. Arizona never liked their colors. Never fucking liked their colors. I didn't like playing at their stadium or arena stadium yet. Um, so got to put them at bad tier. I'm not gonna put them below LA and Chicago. Uh, but they're they're probably neck and neck with uh, the Orioles, I would think. Uh, Cardinals, honestly, I gotta put them terrible team. They beat us in they beat the Tigers in 06. Albert Pujols was amazing, amazing, amazing. He was literally the best player for 10 years when he was on the Cardinals. It was crazy. He was literally the greatest hitter for oh, so long. And, like, significantly. Um, but because of that 06 World Series, got to put them a terrible team. Yankees. Fuck the Yankees. Um, if you're a baseball fan and, you and like, the Yankees are your team and you... Like, you have to just hate the Yankees. Like, fuck them. They have so many World Series. Fuck them. I don't care. Um, I do like Derek Jeter a lot. He was one of my favorite players. But because they're the Yankees, got to put them in a terrible team. Uh, the Mets, honestly, fucking love their colors so much. I love that orange pop so much. Yoenis Cespedes played there right after he was with the Tigers. Um, what else? Honestly, not much to say about the Mets. Um, I'm probably gonna put them with Atlanta. If I like, if I like their colors, but there's not really much else to say about them, I'm, they're probably gonna be a high decent team. Also, Kel uh, Carlos Beltran, really like Carlos Beltran. Um, Angels. Um, I think I was on the Angels when I won the Little League World Series. Sorry, not the Little League World Series. Like our our league in Little League. And the World Series of that league, not the actual Little League World Series. Um, I think that was the year we won it. I'm not 100% sure on that. So, um, there was not really anything else. Mike Trout almost took two MVPs away from uh, Miguel Cabrera. I did like Vlad Vladimir Guerrero, though. I think I'm going to put them high decent tier i think i'm gonna put them high decent tier. they had a uh, Jarrett weaver though fucking hated that guy i don't know why kc um i really don't know i honestly have no opinions on them they're gonna go behind the phillies for sure probably with the rays they're just a team i don't have opinions and a real opinion on uh indians um, I like CC Sabathia back when he was on the Indians. Um, they had like Victor Martinez. That was cool. Um, I one guy I always remember is Grady Sizemore. I think he was on the Indians uh, growing up. Uh, I definitely can't put them above decent tier, so I think I'm just gonna put them decent tier. See, I think anybody in a division like it's just like anybody in a division with the Tigers, I just have to put in like the decent tier unless they're just god awful. Uh, Toronto Blue Jays, honestly. Loved Jose Bautista. His bat flip was so fucking legendary. Um, I like Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I actually really like their uh, their ballpark. Um, I don't think I can put them in great t tier though. I think I'm gonna put them with the Mets. I think I'm gonna put them with the Mets, and I'm gonna put Mets right above them. Uh, just because of all the hype the Yankees get, the Mets does are so underrated. Chicago, honestly, the White Sox might be my least favorite team out of, like, our division. Um, it was just growing up, it was kind of like the White Sox were really good. They won the World Series in, was it fucking, like, 04, 05? Um, World Series winners. I think it was, like, 04. Uh, da, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, five. Okay. I was close. Bro, fuck the Cardinals. Fuck the Giants, man. Did I get to the Giants yet? Cause fuck the Giants. Oh, my God. Uh, but, yeah, they were, like, really good. Um, so they're probably my least favorite out of our division. But I really like Paul Konerko. Um, I think I'm gonna put them at basically the lowest of decent teams. 
they're like borderline because like I just fucking hated them. They also had Chris Sale. Um It was really good. Uh Tigers, yeah. Like what the fuck? Um, Astros, fuck them. I'm low-key gonna put them in a bad tier team because they have Justin Verlander now. So have to put I can't put them a terrible team because they have him if they didn't have him they'd be the worst team but pirates honestly I like the whole like all their teams have the yellow and black absolutely love that um and I really like Andrew McCutcheon um personally if all the teams didn't have the yellow and black I wouldn't like it but definitely not the worst um, I think they're definitely going to be a decent team. I think I'm going to put them above the Blue Jays, but below the Mets still. I like that. Philly is actually going to go, like, right here. They're definitely on the higher end of decent teams. Giants, literally have to put them right there uh, because of them beating us. The Brewers, honestly, they're in the same boat as the Padres, where literally I have zero opinion on them. Like, I don't care about them at all. Um, but Verlander did get his first no-hitter against them, so that was cool. And I was at that game. That was fucking awesome. And then the Nationals. I hate Bryce Harper so much. They're, they're, they're down there. Yeah. This is definitely the list. So we got Tigers are alone at the top, obviously. Hometown favorite. Great teams. Seattle for Ichiro. And the fact that King Griffey Jr. did play there. Boston Red Sox is just because of the history of baseball, the field I love, and a lot of their players I love. Oakland Athletics, just because of me being on uh, that being my little league team so many times. Um, first half of decent teams is really I like the colors of the teams, or there might be a couple players that I liked. The rest of the player teams I don't have anything bad against, but I don't have anything too good again uh, about. Um, Bad teams, I literally have, like, no no real opinion. Uh, but there's nothing that makes me like them. I really hate these guys, but I can't put them in terrible team. And then terrible, we lost to the World Series against these guys. And fuck the Yankees. So, yeah, that's my tier list. Um, and, yeah, it's the only valid tier list uh, because everybody else's tier list is trash. So, yeah, there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Mm.